if you look at how many other worlds there are, how many stars in the Milky Way galaxy, how many other galaxies there are, it seems the height of human arrogance to imagine that this planet is the only inhabited world. But at the same time, we don't know of life elsewhere yet. We're just at the very earliest stages of, uh, of exploration, and we've not found life anywhere else, but no sign of life. That suggests life doesn't come everywhere. Life isn't all that easy to arise. And it says something, therefore, about the rarity and preciousness of life on our planet. It's something that needs to be cherished, take, taken care of. So the flip side of not finding life elsewhere is a much greater respect for the life that's here. Uh, I would, I would think a universe in which we are the only living things is much more incredible than a universe just burgeoning, overflowing with life. But we can't be sure. It's an experimental question. It has to be addressed experimentally. Now, I want you to think about the perfect set of circumstances that put this celestial ball of fire at just the correct distance our little blue planet for life to evolve. But that's a nice thought, right? Everything has a purpose, an order to it, is determined. But then there's the other side of the argument, the theory of randomness, which says it's all simply coincidence. The very fact we exist is nothing but the result of a complex yet inevitable string of chemical accidents and biological mutations. There is no grand meaning. There's no purpose. <laughs>